draft. I know we kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, I did not prepare for it as much as I normally do, but that's okay. I do it every single week, so I should be able to come up with stuff off the cuff. So uh, just a reminder uh, for you. Um, so we'll go back and forth. The guest always goes first. And um, you'll just draft your your top five favorite Saints. Well, not, not that, yeah, favorite, but like your top five Saints that you, they were all alive today. They changed the world. And we'll do a six-man, it's a blessed or, or something that is uh, kind of a, our bench player. Um, yeah, and then you guys can comment below which, which team you think would be best. Obviously, there's no wrong answers because it's a team of Saints, and at the end of the day, that's amazing. So, uh, yeah, do you have any questions on it, though? No, we're good. Okay. I did it, and, and I was like, cool, then we'll do a blessed at the end. And right off the bat, Bishop Condor was like, blessed Stanley Rother. And I was like, I'm not going to correct Bishop Condor. So <laughs> I just went on. There um, you go. Yeah. Okay, so you, you go. You got the first pick, and you, you pick the Saint, and then just give like a brief, like, I would pick the Saint because they were. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Saint John Vianney. Uh, okay. You know, uh, patron saint of parish priests. Uh, walked around this little town of ours, this sort of backwater, and just said, like, you know, and just went door and like took them years, but event like made the whole town Catholic and, yeah. and like lines and lines of people in confession and yeah. not for, you know, for uh, all stretched out the church and around the block and all that sort of thing. And, awesome. um, but also just like super holy and ascetical man. Yeah. And, you know, Basically went and did battle with the devil and won. I mean, just yeah. is he one of the ones that had like an actual like physical battle? Actually, like physical, oh, yeah, no. yeah. Um, Branson was actually mentioned um, recently. He was like, "I'm surprised that no one's picked Saint John Vianney yet." You're the first person to pick him, so he just slipped through the cracks. Oh, like, there's a dark horse there. Um, all right, so I would probably go a similar route then too, as someone that we'd have to convert a lot of people. Uh, so I'd probably go like Saint Francis Xavier. He's just known for baptizing just hundreds of thousands of people, and so I get him out there. He'd be on the road, on the on mission. And that's that's what we go at first. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, well, let's see. Uh, Saint, yeah, Saint Teresa of Avila. Okay. Yeah, uh, 16th century saint, reformer of the Carmelite order. Um, mystic, doctor of the church, uh, baller of the church, if you will. Uh, she, you know, just, you know, um, just an all around holy, holy woman. And what, in, in just like, yeah, I mean, like, um, her understandings of the divine is just awesome. Plus, I, I love religious sisters like yeah. their spiritual motherhood is just amazing yeah and uh you know and i wish that we had religious sisters here on campus because yeah. just would be a game changer yeah that would be that would be so cool um which that also didn't surprise me when cameron said she got into was it sisters for life right yeah so yeah. uh cameron uh sulak our one of our fo former uh focus missionaries was accepted to be a religious sister so at the sisters of life and so yeah. pray for her her, absolutely. Um, okay, so my next one, I would go for a, uh, a the leader, the one that would be our our, our pope, and go uh, JP two. Honestly, don't know as much about him as I should, but I just know he's a great pope and that he would be a solid leader. Oh yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, if we had more time, I would tell you about him. He's <laughs> he's uh, uh, awesome. I would also go um, with an lesser. More like um, so a blessed, if that's allowed. Hey, we the rules the rules are very uh gray. They're not black and white. We okay, kind of so we'll go with Blessed Solanus Casey. I know Bishop Connerla went with Blessed Stanley Rother, but uh, we'll go with Blessed Solanus Casey. Okay. Um, you know, from Michigan. So uh, he is actually from Wisconsin, but he was assigned in Michigan. He was what's known as a priest simplex. So he, because of his education back in the day, he wasn't allowed to hear uh, confessions or preach, but he had a number of healings attributed to him. And like John Vianney, out the door, known for his kindness and just his holiness. I mean, amazing, amazing priest and yeah. um, and counselor. Yeah. And, you know, especially for college students. I mean, it's just, you know, yeah. like, 
Yeah, they wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. I, I've never heard of that person, so that's awesome. I'll have to look up that person more, too. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my third pick, I would uh, go with someone. We're talking about more sisters. So this person, just she pumped out sisters like crazy. It would be St. Zelly Mark. She would lead my family ministry. Actually, I'm not sure. I guess she would lead more the religious vocation. I don't know, but she would do a whole bunch. She's a great, great mother, great businesswoman, and uh, all her all her daughters just were just great. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, pick four. Mm, Saint Gianna Baratimola. Hmm. And all sorts of great ones. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how many there. Uh, what was yeah, it yeah. again? Uh, so she was, I believe, a doctor. I believe she was a doctor. Would you say Saint Gianna? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Gianna Beretimol. Uh, yeah, so she is, uh, I think, a doctor. Um, and I actually don't know a whole lot about her other than the fact that she uh, kind of surrendered her life so that way her daughter uh, could have hers because uh, the doctors were trying to, like, pressure her to have an abortion. And she oh. wouldn't and other things. And But just, again, uh, she's a highly intelligent woman, um, you know, uh, you know, go around and, and just, you know, uh, counsel people to, in terms of life and other things. And just, you yeah. know, I think, especially on this college campus, you know, uh, in the culture of, in a, in a culture of death, yeah. she would be able to like speak life into that. So, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. I always go with something that'd be like a faith warrior. Um, there's always like three that I could kind of to pick between like St. Catherine of Siena, uh, St. Therese of Lisieux. Um, but I think I'm actually going to go to change it up because I feel like I can't just keep doing the same ones each week. And I don't remember which one it is, but the one that had the baby in the prison, it was either St. Perpetua or Felicity. Um, and the, they told her dad, like, like, all she has to do is pronounce her faith and we'll let her go. And then her dad was like, awesome, like, let me go tell her. And he went with her to tell her and she was like, no, I won't do it. And, uh, and she, yeah, so she was like martyred, but it was so cool, and I always wonder, like, if I would be that kind of dad that would run to Adeline and tell her, like, just do it. Just do it to survive. Or if I would just be, like, oh, there was another story. I can't remember what it was. Um, but of another parent who was encouraged. Like, they killed her kids in front of her, and she just encouraged them just to be brave. And I was like, goodness. But, yeah. So I would go, I'll, I'll say Perpetua. I know both of them were very good uh, examples of faith and sacrifice. Yeah. And then, um, five, and then we'll have a six man. Matt, number five. I have to go with, I have to go, well, my students uh, wouldn't like if I went with anyone else, I think, at this point, but maybe St. Thomas Aquinas. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure a very popular one. Um, yeah. You know, especially just around here, uh, we have like, people who are very drawn to mystic thought and obviously he did so much in terms of helping to advance uh, the doctrine of the church and and like helping us understand divine revelation uh yeah. also a mystic and other things and just you know just a beautiful uh beautiful priest and uh and monk and uh yeah and you know and i also feel like you know, a lot of times when I don't understand a concept or something in theology, mm -hmm. I know Thomas has talked about it. So yeah. I can just go yeah. and ask him and, and yeah. Um, yeah, and he'll explain it to me in, in like three or five ways. So yeah, yeah, exactly. He knows that first way or two is going to go right over my head. So <laughs> the other ways will work. Um, okay, then I would take the guy that would be my the groundwork and obviously – and this podcast and the and the church, uh, our church, uh, Saint Philip Neri. He's just great, such a great guy. Patron saint of joy, second apostle of Rome, um, was just such a great like he sacrificed his uncle's business and just hit the road and just one by one just asked people if they're ready to serve God and just got them plugged in immediately and was just so joyful about it all and and uh, yeah, just think he would be someone that would be kind of have that uh, what they call it, moral authority over a lot of people. I think he would just be one of those guys that's just such a great guy that people would listen to him. Mother Teresa. Uh, everyone loved Mother Teresa. She could give a talk on why abortion is immoral, and people those days would still love her. Nowadays, if you don't have that same kind of moral authority, like I could I could do a talk on abortion, and people would be like, dude, you're an idiot. Um, but, yeah, St. Philip Mary, great guy. 
Exactly. Okay, last one. Six man, the blessed, venerable. I don't know what that would be. Oh, well, I'd have to go with uh, the blessed mother. I mean, oh, okay. you know, uh, I know, you know, kind of a cheat, ultimate cheat code of sorts, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, all of our saints would be, would not be happy if we didn't go with, you know, or at least if I didn't, with Our Lady, Terror of yeah. Demons, yeah. Tower of Ivory, House of Gold. I mean, like, you just, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this we had one time where the person was like, can I just pick Mary first? And I was like, well, she'll be a coach. Well, okay, how about you have to pick an apparition? It was, right. It was I mean, yeah, yeah. great. And like, yeah. in an apparition, I would go Our Lady, Undoer of Knots. So. Oh, okay. Uh, mine would be Our Lady of the No, which kind of leads to my last pick, uh, Virgin of the Poor. Um, but mine would be, I, th- I believe it's Venerable, Father Aloysius Schwartz. It's from that book, Priests and Beggars, uh, by Kevin Wells. But he uh, basically rebuilt the Catholic Church in South Korea following the Korean War. Um, but then went on to do all the boys' towns and girls' towns and actually came to Mexico. And, and he had the devotion to Our Lady of the No. And he had ALS and went to Mexico around the time he died. But and they asked that he would help do the voice house girl sense. Like, in my condition, I cannot. I'm so sorry. Went to bed that night. Was supposed to catch a flight that next day. And he, like, Our Lady appeared to him. Our Lady but no. But as she got closer, she had turned to Our Lady of Guadalupe and said to do it. And so he woke up, called him the next day, and said, we're going to do it. And I think he died shortly after they opened those in Mexico City. Um, it was crazy. His story is so cool. So Priest of Beggars is always a book I recommend to everybody. Awesome. Wow. Well, cool. All right, you guys comment below which one you guys think would save the world today. Um, I mean, Blessed Mother, so I think we, we already know which one. But <laughs> comment below anyway. Um, thanks again to 123 subscribers, and, and thank you to Father Ford for being on. I'm sure I'll, I'll be hitting you up multiple times to come on. Um, I got a lot of ideas for when the school year starts and the students are back. So, uh, Well, you know where I work. Oh, yeah, right next door. So right. you guys have a blessed day, and we will see you next week. All right, God bless you.